Yeah, I should be fucking working on Memories of a Spy. Yeah, I should be doing a lot of things, but instead, I chose to remake a fucking Valve game as fast as I possibly could. So, uh, I hope you find this entertaining. Thank you.
So I did name the scene the 10 minute space shooter, but this ended up taking closer to three hours. But, but actually most of the three hours was spent doing designy stuff. And what I mean by that is that like, I didn't ever really get hung up on technical things so much. The game is really simple, technically. The thing that I was getting more caught up on was translating VR to mouse and keyboard. Because the game that this is based on, I forget what it's called, like Zortex or something like that. It's a VR game. It's meant to be played with this. You're supposed to go in here and do, 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 do. this is the spaceship. This, usually you're controlling it with this thing. So a lot of the time what I was doing was like figuring out, well, how should this thing shoot? Usually, for example, in the VR version, you just point it. There's no, you don't pull the trigger to shoot or anything. You just point it and if it aligns with an enemy, it just shoots automatically. And I kind of had that set up at first. I was doing this thing where I was like ray casting and if it did see something, it would fire automatically. But it just, I don't know, lining up the ship, the camera and everything to kind of get it just right, especially if I wanted to put like a reticle in the center, it, it just, it really didn't feel right so what I ended up going for was the just click to shoot which I don't know the, just having the autonomy over it felt a little bit better that way you can kind of spray and pray and actually shooting lasers that weren't even gonna hit anything at least gives you an idea of their trajectory a lot of time you end up shooting kind of as like tracer rounds just to see where you're shooting and that's just shooting you know even the movement itself like like I said you usually have a controller and you're literally just doing that being able to move around in this big sphere like there, I'm still actually quite not quite happy with how it's set up the movements it's okay right now, but what I really think it's missing is sort of the fun of kind of inverting and going upside down and stuff. So I might have some type of pitch and yaw thing happening, maybe, I don't know. But quite honestly, I really should stop fucking tinkering with this game. Three to four hours, like that's already too much. So yeah, I need to, I need to get back to work on Memories of Spy. Also, I, I need a pack right now. I'm going to fucking New York in like 10 hours. I think I'm gonna meet the Hutong team, the Playmaker team. The man himself, Alex Chules. And also it's Sunny's birthday. I missed two days of daily videos. And it was because I waited too late. I do it every day. Every day I wait until like the last minute to figure out what my video is. And it's just, I need to sort that shit out earlier in the day. Anyways, okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have another thing very similar to this coming up. So, so stay tuned. Click this link right here to see that thing that I just mentioned.